Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Sky1007. On today's episode, we're going to be having this right here. It's from Amazon. Okay, it's not any alarm clock. It's this right here. It's a radio alarm clock. Okay. Let me turn off the lights. Wow, I am already loving this. This is beautiful. It's very small, but that's a good thing. Okay, so it is the following day. And um, overall, I'm very happy with this product. I The best part right now is the this, this size. So before we talk about that, I want to teach you how to use it. So on the top, you're going to have this knob right here, which is also a push button. And a knob. And you have these four buttons right here. This is time set. Radio. Alarm 1. Alarm 2. On the back you're going to have these two USB charging ports a uh, volume knob um, volume knob rocket rocker whatever that is and uh, the uh, headphones if you want to listen to music with your headphones and you also have let me pull this out you also have the um, centigrade and Fahrenheit selector and the 12 and 24 hour format selector and of course you have this this is where you plug it in so that it'll power up so those are the um the buttons around this is the speaker right here it's very small but it uh, the sound is fairly acceptable I'm very surprised and this is the antenna so you're not going to want to cut this if you cut this you will not have FM radio and on the bottom it says that you have a 365 day warranty and there's a website there that says 3 ducks direct at outlook.com oh let me pull this out so that's if you want to communicate with them I doubt I don't think that's um that would really work if you wanted to get this fixed because it's so it's so cheap I paid fourteen dollars for it sending this over to China would cost about twenty dollars so you probably better off just buying a new one so these are the backup batteries they are triple A so let's go get some batteries okay so let's plug this in if you were to pull out the the power like this Shoom. It keeps working. So that's nice. So if you press it, it'll work. And then it'll turn off, I'm sure. Wow, this is just amazing, I have to say. It's um so basically you can operate it without power. But it is meant to be used with power. So if you're gonna take this to the desert, you might want to go for something else so anyway let's see how it works let's set the time so right now the time is 4 59 p.m. so you come over here and press and hold and then the hour starts flashing so let's use the knob to find 4 p.m. very easy now press once and now we go to the minutes let's look for 59 very easy to f and then press again once and the time has been set 4 59 p.m. and that's basically how you set time the next button right here is radio if you press that you are in radio 
This controls the radio volume and the alarm volume. So for example, let's find a station. If you press and hold here, it'll auto scan. Let's press and hold. So it's auto scanning. And I do have to tell you that that auto scan doesn't work very well, I think. I'm not sure. It stopped there. And it's going to keep moving. It's 5P. So it stopped at 88.7. So let's raise the volume. I'm Audie Cornish. This hour, we hear from students and parents about yet another school now. year disrupted by the pandemic. Okay, so if you want to manually search for a station, you have to use this. It's very easy. Ooh, I better change. I better not let the radio play copyrighted music. Washington. I'm Jack Spear. Even as the U.S. announced the evacuation of four Americans from Afghanistan. Okay, so that seems to work very well. So we are going to come back. So to get out of radio mode, you press this button right here once, and it goes back to the temperature. Okay, so we've talked about this first two buttons. Now we're going to move to this last two, the alarms. They do basically the same thing. So let's try to set alarm one. So press and hold. And now we get to look for the hour for alarm one. So let's say five. And now to move two minutes, you press once. And now let's look for, let's say three. 5.03 p.m. Now let's press once. And now we get to pick the um, the sound. So we have birds, water, music, beep, phone, and then the radio. So I'm gonna loop. I'm gonna do that. Now press once, and the alarm is set. So now let's wait. Make sure that you put that on the volume on max so you wake up and let's wait for 503 okay as you could hear it kept increasing the um the volume kept going up which i think is great so you're not going to jump out of bed you're going to gently wake up and as you can see it's on snooze that icon right there you can't see it but it's there's an icon there that's flashing that's telling you that it's on snooze if you want to get rid of that snooze you press over here once Oops, I accidentally double pressed that. I was supposed to just press once. And, and that gets rid of it. So if you go to alarm 2, it basically is the same thing. You press and hold. And then you choose the hour. You press once. Choose the minutes. Press once. Choose the sound and then you press it like that and it's now set. <coughs> and the way you know that it's set is that because it's displaying something, that means it's set. If it's turned off, it'll say off like that. So let's turn both on and it both will show a time. If you turn one of them off, it'll say off. You turn the other one off, it'll say off. So it's very easy to read and know that you have the alarm set to the desired time 
even though um, even if you don't press anything so we've covered so far these four buttons right here and the knob which is also controls the knob uh, lets you easily switch between things adjust the time and alarm this knob also chooses the um, brightness intensity so if you press it like that it dims you press it again it dims press it again it dims press it again it turns off so let's um go back to that now I do want to note one thing that this even though it looks like it's lit up it's actually not lit up let me turn off the lights the display is lit up but this knob has that blue ring that ring does not light up and these buttons do not light up only the display lights up so now let's move um, what else is there to say about this oh, okay the um, buttons on the back are the volume control which I already show you how that works and then the centigrade and Fahrenheit let me I'm going to press it and you're going to see the change. So that's centigrade and this is Fahrenheit. And the cool thing about it is that it's very accurate. It's 86.2. So as far as the other thing, the 1224 format, let's, let me show you that. Right now it's 507 p.m. So if I press the 1224 button, this happens. So now this is um that 24 hour time kind of like in South America I know that in South America they they do this thing where you you say oh it's 1707 but here in the US it's 507 p.m. So that's about it so um now let's talk about these charging ports it's 1 amp and 2 amp so if you want to charge an iPad you would go for the 2 amp to, char to charge a phone, you would go for the one amp. So let me go get a phone. Okay, so here's an old phone. I'm recording with my new phone. I'm going to plug this in. And then I'm going to power it up with the one amp. Should work. I hope it does. Let's see what happens. There we go. So it is charging. I think it's charging okay so let's see what happens when I do the other one the bottom one it should do the same thing this is just demonstration charging okay so the next thing I want to do let me pull this out kind of stiff um, the next thing I want to do is put some speakers over here and let's listen to music through those speakers see how what kind of quality you get okay so this is the speaker I'm going to connect it to and I'm going to use this aux cable so you plug it in over here and then you come over here in the back this and you plug it in in there and you turn on the speaker power on okay like I said I'm not gonna play any music cuz I'll get a copyright strike but we're gonna just uh, try to find a FM radio and this only plays FM radio there's no AM so let's look mm -hmm. gives you options based on your budget or that our novelty hand buzzer helps you save on car insurance just call virtual wave it was hard because i didn't get to see many people i was okay so like i said i'm not going to play any music it does sound acceptable i believe it's acceptable um but it's not fantastic it's not like um a 
$200, $300 stereo system. So let's see if we can listen to the alarm through this. Let's go over here. Yeah. Wow, that sounds beautiful. That sounded beautiful. So let's um, do number four. It won't play the whole song. Okay, let's um, let's do number five. Well, that's just a... Okay, so that's pretty amazing. I wish if they're bothered to put those sounds there, I wish they would let you choose those sleep sounds, but they won't. So if you like the sleep sounds, I mean the, the, the alarm sounds and you want to use them, I think the only, the only thing you can do is try to just set the alarm and let it go. For example, let me set the alarm off camera. I'm going to let it go off camera and then we're going to listen to that last song that I like, the song number four, I think. Here we go. It starts slowly. I cannot believe they missed that opportunity. They could have just added an extra button or they could have added a function right here. They could have just added the function right here because over here if you do that, nothing happens. This is wasted. This could have been the... If you press and hold, that'll set the time. But if you just press once, it doesn't do anything. That could have been the, the night sounds or the sleep sounds or nature sounds. They could have advertised this as um, alarm clock, digital al alarm clock with nature sounds. Let's um, listen to that, those uh, sounds again. Let me set the alarm. Okay, so I have set the alarm to that waterfall or that river sound. So we're going to see how it is. Sounds beautiful. Okay, let's do that um, Patchel Bell Cannon song. It's coming up in a few seconds. Alright, so that's amazing. Wasted opportunity, but um, just beautiful. Even without the speaker, that music, I mean, those sound quality is fairly good. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is um, sleep mode. Um, if you want to use sleep mode, you have to first go into the radio. 
the pandemic. That's something I spoke about with Robin Lake, the director of the Center on Reinvention. Okay, so once you're in the radio, you have to press this button right here, and it'll let you choose 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So the maximum is one minute, I mean one hour and 20 minutes. So you're now you're in sleep mode, so the radio. And as someone who's focused a lot on the impact of the pandemic socially and emotionally. The radio will automatically turn off after that amount of time. So what can I say? It's a beautiful device. It's perfect. I wish it had Bluetooth connection. Um, that's the only thing that it doesn't have. And I, I wish it had a special button for nature sounds. And you can go through all that and you can listen to the Patchel Bell Cannon song and that would be great. So it could, it's great. It's 100% great. I love it. For 14 bucks, I'm 100% happy with it. I recommend it 1000%. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.